uh, David Eisner born in Manchester, England. And Manchester is not only famous about the two world class uh, soccer team, but also uh, science and uh, scientific achievement. And also this was the birthplace and now the working place of uh, David. And this uh, picture shows roughly the time of uh, Manchester when David was young and attended uh, school there. His father uh, and mother came, escaped from Nazi Germany in the very late uh, 30s, and uh, they were uh, academic. His father was a physicist and a writer in the same time, and his mother was an economist. So uh, his wife, Suzanne, is also an established uh, uh, professor, and in the bottom part, you see, she was le giving lectures in Szeged about suit muscle uh, physiology. They have three uh, children, Emily, Thomas, and Mark. So, uh, David, after uh, finishing high school, started his uh, career receiving the bachelor degree in physics from King's College, Cambridge, in United Kingdom, and his first mentor was under Lowe. He earned his PhD degree in physi physiology in Oxford uh, and in two, uh, 1979, as and his uh, mentor was uh, Dennis uh, Nobel and Jan uh, Glim. Uh, then he became lecturer in, at the Department of Physiology, University College of London, and uh, then he uh, progressed to uh, University of Liverpool, and now he is a full professor in the, at Manchester University. And you see in this picture his uh, early years in uh, Oxford, and with Professor Leder and Vaughan Jones, they are established uh, professor, uh, became established professor also in England, and in the bottom. Uh, you see his uh, recent uh, photo with uh, his uh, team. So, I think uh, his, uh, I don't know, it's something may, okay. So, uh, his uh, scientific duties and position in uh, summary, he was, he has, a, he's a, he is the chair of the. He was the chair of uh, Journal of Physiology, and the picture shows uh, in uh, 2012 when there was a gathering of the editors of Journal of Physiology. And Journal of uh, Physiology is uh, one, if not the uh, most respected physiology journal in the world. And in the Middle East, uh, uh, Andrew Hawksley. Uh, is a uh, Nobel, a very famous Nobel laureate, and that uh, was a gathering in London. Uh, and he uh, served as editor uh, uh, chief of journal of uh, molecular cellular cardiology and president of the F Federation of the European Physiological Societies, uh, presidents of the uh, Physiological Society uh, in England, and the chair of the British Society of Cardiovascular Research. So, uh, and president of the International Society of Heart uh, Research and uh, the, was the chair of the European Working Group of Cellular Cardiac Electrophysiology. As you could see, that's a very, uh, he took very respected uh, position in the international uh, field. And so his major contribution to our knowledge in basic cardiology was quite plentiful. I tried to pick up uh, the most important ones. Maybe uh, I miss something that's just an arbitrary because David has such a uh, wide, uh, very important and prestigious work. So regulation of the intercell sodium in cardiac muscle and its effect in, on the contraction in the early years. Uh, control of intercellular calcium concentration and its role in the genesis of arrhythmias, study the fact factors that regulate calcium content of the sarcoplasmic reticulum and how this uh, altered in disease, control of diastolic uh, calcium and its effect on 
calcium uh, buffering. And he published more than 150 papers, mostly in top journals. So I think uh, this is Journal of uh, uh, Physiology, Nature, Flugel Archive, Cardiovascular Research, and Biophysical Journal Circulation. If people, they know the field, they uh, can appreciate that those are the journals which uh, are the respected the most. And he uh, uh, also published and lectured about sci scientific reproducibility and fraud. And I just encourage you, uh, the students, uh, to try to find this uh, video and also uh, the paper in the internet because this, uh, you sh whenever you start a scientific career, I think you should be aware of that this can be a major problem and everybody who does science should resist the temptation of uh, that. So uh, he is currently very active. He's uh, in cardiovascular uh, research and his research group tried to understand the mechanism that regulate the contraction of the heart to under both normal and disease uh, conditions and also his group has defined the mechanisms that control the amount of calcium in the store, which is a very fundamental issue in uh, uh, basic uh, cardiology. So, as you see, David was awarded with many awards and honors, so I just uh, arbitrarily picked up some of the uh, most important uh, ones, which is uh, listed with the bold lettering and on the picture uh, he's, uh, he was awarded by uh, the Dalla Award and you see Professor Dalla shaking hand with David and the background is uh, Professor Carmeli, he was one of the iconic figure in cardiac electrophysiology. Uh, And David has, we had the privilege that David had a lot of connection uh, with Hungary. He is Dr. Honoris Causa at, at the De University of De Debrecen, as you can uh, see on the uh, photos, and also at the University of Szeged, and uh, the photo was also taken in front of our building. And also, he educated young Hungarian scientists in his lab, including myself, and this is on the uh, picture in 91. This was one very uh, exciting time in Liverpool when I had the opportunity to work together with David, and since that he visited Hungary and interacted with the uh, student and gave uh, a lot of lectures. We, were, we are very thankful that he is here today with us. So, uh, we consider that a great honor that David is uh, with us, and I would like to David that deliver your uh, talk today. <laughs> 